Thanks, Dan Wiz and Bill O'Reilly in the At Your Beck and Call segment tonight. Glenn Beck has a brand new book, doing very well, called Broke, which he is certainly not, largely because of his political analysis, which millions follow. Now, Beck is currently locked in on next Tuesday's vote, and I talked with him about it last night. All right, here's Beck taking notes. Look at him. He's writing stuff down. Well, because um, I'm, I'm here, I'm, I'm with Hit. Yeah, you You don't know me. the pressure coming into a room with this giant. I know. And he is giant. That's the thing I want to point out to everybody. He's enormous. Now, listen, this isn't like 5 o'clock. This is 8 prime time, and you've got to be on your game here. You're not, a, you're not an over... We should really move on to the next segment, then. Yeah. I, uh, I'm not a pessimist. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to elevate you. You really? Yeah. All right. Now, he's, I know you're not an overtly so political kind. guy. Yes. You're not. No. You don't really care about party politics, No, right? I, don't, I, I mean, I, I You don't, think they're all pinheads to some can degree. Can we just go... You know what? I, how much time does this country waste on worrying about Washington? How much time? Yeah, but Washington impacts all our lives now. That is the point now, yes, isn't it? Right. Maybe we should reduce their impact on everybody. I'm with you on life. that. I mean, you got a book called Broke. I have a book called Pinheads and Patriots. And both books say that the giant apparatus in Washington isn't looking out for the folks. No, not Correct. at all. Okay. So now we have a, a vote on Tuesday. And all indications are it's going to be a big sea change in the political philosophy that Democrats are going to lose in many places. Republicans are going to be in. Does that give you hope? Oh, I, you know, it, it, it verifies what I believe about the American people, that the American people, uh, you know, Thomas Jefferson said, trust the American people. They'll get it wrong, but they'll correct it. The American people have woken up, and they, they don't like the direction we're going in. So that gives me hope. Um, John Stewart last night was with the president, and the president talked about um, how in health care there was structure that was built. Yeah, I mean, do you remember, Bill, you watch, of course, you watch with the sound down. Um, I mean, for, what, a year and a half, I said nothing can pass because they have structure in these bills. They're building something. They have structure. He said those words right. last night. Right. So um, what's coming? What is coming is, I think, a massive game to blame everything on the Republicans. Because but, that, but that's the, not going to work. It, it, look, the president people, and the Democratic Party tried to blame Bush mm -hmm. for the economy two years later. Mm -hmm. Did it work? No, but here's what's going to happen, I think. I think we're, we're about to go into some real bad times economically. I think we're headed Worse towards... than now? Yeah, I do. And, and one of the things is, and, and I don't know if people really understand this yet, because I don't hear a lot of people say this, to fix our problems, we have to let the system come down. We have to purge ourselves of the bad debt. We have to take our lumps. You have to pay the piper at some point. We haven't done that. So as we go down, if you're talking about austerity programs, it will dislodge a lot of there's going to be a lot of well whenever there society. is a uh, disaster then you rebuild from the disaster i'm not as pessimistic as beck on the economy i think there's a lot of cash on the sidelines i think that there's been a lot of rebuilding in areas that we need so when the election on election night yes. you'll be home with your big bowl of popcorn no i'll right? be working are you going to work here yes. they're going to let you on the air what show no, are you they're doing? not going to let me on the air what are you they're smarter than that. Right. Though. I figured you no, were. No, 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 no. 2, 2 a.m.? I'll be at glenbeck.com on, on the oh, Insider Oh, you're in the dot-com thing. Yes. So what, will you be giving commentary on what's happening? What will you be doing? Yes. Commentary that probably wouldn't happen on the network. <laughs> You know what I mean? They're, they're really so you, they really don't want me. So Woodrow Wilson Sorry. will be involved in the election. Yes, yes there probably will be right, The ghost of Teddy Roosevelt yes, will appear. It'll be, it'll William Taft it. might yeah. make an appearance. No, no, not Taft. Let's no. not be. Jackson. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, Jackson might go be involved. With the central sure, bank. Sure. Okay. All right. Now, um, you know, may I say something? Sure. I, I was driving in the car uh, last night, and I think I was listening to your show, and uh, somebody mentioned Nikki Haley, and I thought, is that thing still going on? The governor of South Carolina who's running, running, uh, running. Yeah. Women's governor, right? And She's going to win. Thought, all right. And I thought to myself, how long do these elections last now? Who in their right mind can yeah. spend two years? And when you get there, aren't you, aren't you, um, A, just so battle-weary, and B, aren't you beholden to almost everyone? That's an excellent point. But you know what's going to happen in January 11? The presidential race starts. I know. So we got, we got two months of uh, the vote, but once there, you're going to see them all I running know. around doing this and the other thing. Gives us something to talk about. Now, how's the book doing? Broke. Is that doing well? Oh, it just came out. Okay. Number yeah. one on Amazon.com. Number one on Amazon. Yeah, well. Yeah. How's yours? 
mine is a big hit, um, and we appreciate everybody who's in. But you, you see, Beck, you go like to 18,000 signings, right? You sign everywhere. Oh, I'm everywhere. Yeah, I'm I, everywhere. I, 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 I have to actually. I saw I you at an Amityville. My, I just can't put my name on it, and everybody go, oh, Bill O'Reilly, I like him. I still have to work for a living. I know. I still I, have I to go back, out and go, no, really, it's good. I saw Beck on the exit ramp at the Long Island Expressway with a sign. Yeah. I will sign. Really? I'll yeah. Sign. It's one of these. That's right. Honk if we'll you want my book food. signed. <laughs> we'll work for food. That's me. It's a bad economy. Now, we have a, we're going to do a show together on Saturday. Yeah. Well, he can say, here's the thing. I haven't decided on my costume yet for our appearance together. Uh-huh. You know. Um, I was thinking about going as Nancy Pelosi, but I think that might I be have a one mistake. Who? Oh. Joy Behar. <laughs> there you go. Jack, she is pretty frightening. I'll give you $5,000 if you show up as Joy Behar. $5,000? Yeah. That's what I'll give you. <laughs> Glenn Beck, everybody. He's thinking about it. He'll sign books anywhere, anytime. Just email him.